Dr. Libina, where the spokesperson for the country's self-styled National Army in the East, says the army welcomes holding elections as soon as possible. In a press conference on Wednesday, Brigadier General Ahmed Al Musmari said the army is ready to secure polling stations across the country and urged the East-based parliament to issue elections law. In September, the UN envoy to Libya, Ghassan Salami, proposed an action plan meant to pave the way for parliamentary and presidential elections and a vote on a new constitution. The UN-backed government in the West says it plans to hold elections in 2018. For some more insights and regional perspectives, let's talk to CGTN's Adil Mahuri, who's standing by live in Cairo. Adil, there has been little movement towards a political consensus or cooperation among Libya's parallel governments. Is there a sense that the country is ready for elections next year? Well, in terms of intention, it seems the country is intending to hold the election and is prepared, but there are numerous challenges on the ground. Security, of course, comes as the primary threat um, to the ease flow or the expected um, environment that should surround elections generally, and that is not yet uh, a big achievement, particularly as the division continues between rivaling factions um, in the western side of Libya, even within Tripoli itself. Um, and also, it will become clearer uh, about how the security situation will be uh, once the candidates for the presidential race um, are settled. The names itself will definitely have an influence on the stability or the reignition of violence on the ground in Libya. Adil, this latest statement is from the general Halif Haftar led Libyan National Army. Is it clear if he would be vying in such an election and who else would expect in such a context? Well, General Khalifa Haftar um, in, in several um, opportunities have more or less indicated that he may run. He has never said it explicitly. However, he said that Libya needs a strong um, leader. It needs someone who can maintain security. It needs someone from a, ba a military background. All of these have been um, said by General Khalifa Haftar more than once. Uh, but there are sources within the Libyan army that, that are saying that there are fears um, for, or at least some are resisting Haftar's um, um, race or candidacy, uh, mainly because he has um, some of his family members and sons are um, a part of the Libyan National Army, and they fear this would be a repetition uh, of um, a, a hand grip of uh, power in Libya within just uh, one family. Um, but again, um, he ha himself has never confirmed it or said it explicitly, at least not yet. Um, Faiza Saraj has um, said before that he is willing to go through that race. There are some reports that um, former uh, Libyan, uh, uh, the son of, the, or of Libya's former president, Muammar Qadhafi, Saif al Qadhafi, uh, may run again for election. He has some legal issues and court cases filed against him with, which might uh, obstruct him from that race. But um, he is one of those who are believed to have uh, strong support on the ground. Faiz Saraj also is believed to have um, strong support uh, on the ground. So there are still um, more names coming out um, within the coming days. Also, the magnitude of the registration. The, Libya has already opened the door for um, um, citizen registration for to sign up for their um, elections. Uh, so far, about w more than a million, around 1.5 million have registered, and there is still about more than a month remaining. So all of these are indications that will start to encourage maybe more or less people to the race. And finally, Adel, how are these developments being viewed in the region? Do Libya's neighbors support calls for a vote early next year? Well, Libya's neighbor have been calling for these elections for so long, and they want to see the elections getting done and they want to have a final elected body, a final um, legislative body, a, a president, all elected and agreed upon unanimously by all Libyan factions through transparent elections. Um, just after the announcement of Al-Mismari that you've mentioned, um, Egypt's uh, presidency and officials here have praised this step and have called um, the Libyans to quickly uh, proceed to have such an elections taking place. Um, uh, in Tunisia, in Algeria, uh, both countries have 
been desperate to see stability in Libya. And to them, the three main Arab uh, Libyan uh, laborers, um, to them, the elections is a key and a focal point to start to have significant change on the ground. There is, of course, clear backing by President El Sisi and um, the Egyptian government to General Khalifa Haftar. They, um, as Egypt uh, has been an example in uh, producing a, a leader from a military background, uh, there has been indications that there is sort of confidence in Khalifa Haftar himself, and therefore they want to see maybe, maybe him or anyone from the military uh, to, to run or to have such a support. Egypt will definitely be uh, pro uh, that. They don't, there, there is some concerns about the rise of Islamists through elections that have caused some political instability in Egypt and in Tunisia. This might be a concern about the elections, but overall to have an elected body is something that Libya's neighbors want because this will bring stability and security to their borders. All right. So, Adil, we appreciate those insights.